It's early in the morning before this large supermarket opens for customers. I'm the manager of the supermarket. And this is my son, Johnny. This morning, I'm going to show Johnny what goes on behind the scenes here A supermarket is like many little markets or departments all brought together into one big building. Each department sells a different kind of food. One of my jobs, I tell Johnny, is to see that the market has plenty of food to sell. I must also see that all the people who work in the market know what to do and that they do their jobs well. My first job in the morning is to open the door to the rear loading platform where deliveries to the market are made. Watch this truck backing in, Johnny. It's bringing some of the food the market will sell. Here's a man unloading vegetables and fruit from a vegetable or produce truck. The vegetables and fruit are taken to a storage room in the back of the market. Here they are cleaned. It takes a great deal of work to prepare the vegetables, so they will be clean enough to sell to customers. From the inside of this truck, a roller track carries cartons of canned and paper goods into the market. A moving belt inside the building, carries the cartons to a second floor storage room. Here, they are taken off the belt and stacked on storage shelves until needed. Johnny watches boxes of frozen food being unloaded from a refrigerated truck. One of my helpers explains that a refrigerated truck is like a large ice box on wheels. This is the market's frozen food locker. Frozen food from the truck is put inside this locker room to be kept frozen until it is needed for customers. This truck is refrigerated too. In it, big pieces of meat are brought to the market. The meat is hung on hooks from an overhead slide so it can be easily moved. The meat is pushed into a refrigerated room to be kept cold and fresh until it is ready to be cut up for sale. Mr. Dale, my meat department manager, shows us the meat he is going to cut today. In the meat cutting room, the meat is cut to prepare it for sale. This meat has been ground into hamburger. The cut and ground meat travels on rollers to the packaging and weighing room. In this room, packages of meats are made ready for selling. Since food must be kept very clean, the packages are carefully wrapped and labeled. They are covered with cellophane 
and then sealed with a hot iron. Each package is weighed, and the weight and price are marked on the label. Finally, the wrapped meat is ready to be put into a refrigerated display case in the front of the market. From it, customers may choose what they want. This case keeps the meat cold and fresh until it is ready to be taken home. The vegetables are taken from their storage room as they are needed and attractively arranged in the display cases in front of the market. Many different kinds of vegetables and fruit too, are displayed. This chute carries cartons of canned and paper goods from their upstairs storage room to the market's main floor. Cans of food are put on the shelves. The price is stamped on each can, so the customers and the cashiers at the checkout stands will know how much each costs. The packages of frozen food are also placed in a refrigerated display case. Many different kinds of frozen foods are offered for sale. Meanwhile, I check on some signs needed for tomorrow's sale. I tell my sign maker what the sale price will be. The signs will be used in the windows of the market. Back in my office, Johnny sees some of the other work necessary to help run the market. This is my secretary. She's working on the sales record of yesterday's business. I must know how much food was sold the day before so I can order more if it is needed. This is my bookkeeper. She's adding up some bills for me to pay. Now, Johnny, how would you like to open the market? Just push this buzzer. The doors are open. Here come the customers. One of the first customers to come in this morning is Johnny's mother. She's come to do her shopping and to pick up Johnny while I go back to work. As they shop, Johnny tells his mother what he's learned about the supermarket. How the big trucks come every day, bringing different kinds of food to the backloading platform. How the cartons of food are unloaded from the trucks and moved to the storage rooms. How the vegetables are cleaned. How the meat is cut and wrapped to keep it clean. How the clerks put the food in the display cases and arrange it on the shelves. What the office workers do. And some of the things I must do before the customers arrive. Johnny and his mother have completed and paid for their shopping. Today, Johnny's learned that a great many things go on behind the scenes of a supermarket.